Hello YouTube, this is Chesco. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to wrap up the section on the Fourier analysis and the Fourier transform. But before that I, I wanted to show you, um, someone asked me uh, a, a, in the comment section a question on uh, the difference between RGB and BGR. And uh, that's why I'm doing this here. Uh, I want to open uh, an image using uh, the OpenCV and opening the, the image through NumPy and you'll see the difference. Okay, so let's run this one. And run it. And as you can see, I'm opening the same flag. It's, a, it's, a, it's an, the Armenian flag. This is what it looks like. It's RGB. But we, as you can see, when I open it with OpenCV and you open it, it, uh, it does the inverse. Of, of the colors, it goes to BGR and the NumPy does RGB. So keep in mind that in some cases uh, it will make a difference. Sometimes it will not make a difference, uh, but depending on the linearity, sometimes of, of if you're dealing with nonlinear or linear, it will make a difference. So, and you can refer back to the documentation if you have any questions. Uh, in the CVT color function in the OpenCV uh, documentation, they have a pretty good explanation of, of how it works and let's continue here in this I, I am going to take this uh, this flag here and I'm going to slice the colors this is when you're working with images sometimes that you wanna you wanna slice one color at a time and uh, I'm just gonna show you how how that works and let's let's run this one and as you can see here the flag is like that, right? And now here I slice red out, and you can see the red is gone, and uh, it became white. And in this case, the green became white, and in this case, the blue became white. And that's what the original, what it should look like. And as you can see, each one of these here, it does uh, one at a time. I, this piece of code sometimes is, could come handy, especially when you're dealing with some image processing techniques. And that's why I, I said, let me include it in here in this tutorial. Like I always do, I'm going to uh, keep a, uh, give you a, the the link to my uh, to my GitHub, and also I'm going to include a copy in the description of this video. This is a a, a way to do a Gaussian filters and and how it, you can use it to make a, a high pass filter. Um, a high pass filter uh, lets certain frequencies through and attenuates uh, lower frequencies. And well, I'm going to show you so you can see it. I'm going to use uh, Lina, the Lina PNG, and uh, you're going to see how it works. Let's run it. And one more, and there you go. This is uh, the original after going through some filtering. The low pass, it's right here, the low pass. And then this here, the low pass, the image, where is it? Yeah, right here. The input image minus the low pass filter. And then that's the goes high pass, and that's what that one is. Okay, so you can use that, that that little snippet right there to do some filtering in the images if you want to do it and it's something quick okay and now let's get back to the uh, Fourier transform uh, the num I'm gonna be using the FFT function and uh, FFT shift just to remind you the FFT2 is in two dimensions and we in the last tutorial we used it in one dimension in this uh, now I'm using uh, in two dimensions. That's why that FFFT2. And here I explain. Uh, it computes the one-dimensional endpoint. That's that one. And the FFT computes the two-dimensional endpoint discrete Fourier. Oops. There's a three there. That's not supposed to be there. And the endpoint discrete DFT. And the function shift. This one right here my goodness another mistake and uh, is this function right here where is it um, right okay copy and just control V in there 
and the FFT shift all it does it uh, it shifts the zero frequency component to the center of the spectrum so it's easier to look at it okay but let's uh, stop talking and let's run it and there and there you see um, why is it still giving me the warning let's run it again here one two three four five okay and then one more yeah it went away that's why I put this here because in 2.7 Python 2.7 um, you sometimes you have to do that uh, not always but sometimes uh, the system complains that's why I had that there okay so let's continue here here you're getting the magnitude spectrum um, as you can see if you remember from the first uh, Fourier transform uh, tutorial uh, the images the edges right here and they're right now they're vertical so they become horizontal when you do the spectrum the magnitude uh, the frequency domain and now I'll, I'm going to do a, a different flag I'm going to do the British flag the UK flag so you can see the diagonals and let's run it as you can see the diagonals the angle has shifted but they're still there and as you can see um, the cross right here and there and it's very nice because there's all these edges everywhere okay now let's do the Brazilian flag because it's different it's got a circle in it and as you can see this one I picked one with the with the uh, wrinkles so you can is of the wind in the the flag in the wind as you can see the edges right here from the wrinkles and the edges from the stars and so on so it's really it's a, it's a really nice one and in this one what we're going to do well let me do it and then explain it I'm using the I'm importing the gray input image this is right out of the tutorial from uh, the OpenCV tutorial they did it uh, I uh, it's in the in their page in their tutorial page but I wanted to show you and uh, so you you could also get it if you haven't gone there you could get it from here I'm also going to include it in the description of the video and all it is is the inverse FFT shift which is the is the inverse of the FF of this one it's just the inverse of it and you can see the changes it does the in the jet and uh, after high pass filter and let's do the same but with the US flag because the US flag is got uh, it's got this vertical uh, horizontal lines and all these stars and as you can see the difference the spectrum uh, it's got a it has a great effect and now let's do the inverse DFT to get our image back because uh, this is the filter original that's the gray and then that but now we're gonna from that we're gonna get back our our flag again okay so let's run it and there you go that's the gray and as you can see there's a, a blur effect and uh, is is um, there's some noticeable blurring and in the section of the OpenCV documentation and the tutorials they they go on more in detail why the blur happens um, but as you can see you get all of it back but the, w the only noticeable thing uh, is well let me open it so you can see it you can see the blur right here okay and that's part of using the inverse DFT you, you're getting it your image back but but it comes with it with uh, there's no free lunch you get uh, a little bit of a of a imperfection or a blur but sometimes that's what you wanted to do in the first place so it might be beneficial 
But uh, just uh, like I said, uh, we wrap up the Fourier transform. In the next uh, tutorial, we'll go into other cool stuff. And uh, like always, if you like this tutorial, please uh, click the like box and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.